Hey, this is Alex from Crosstown here, greeting you with this uh, delicious Coca-Cola. And it happens to be red, just like as this Jeep is red. All right. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me let me take you around this thing and show you what it's all about. So here here we got uh, beautiful 225-65-17s wrapped around this marvelous 17-inch inch mag. And this is not a rim, ladies and gentlemen. This is a mag. All right. 17 inches. This is where you hide all your grandma's uh, recipe books, right? You, you hide them right in there. Okay, and we got the glove box right here. Apple amount of space, as usual, it is in the Jeep, right? Because you want to go on long trips and uh, you want to put stuff in there. Right? Here we got another quick little cubby mold. You know, you put your, uh, you know, what have you, your cell phone and, uh, you know, all those other things, right? You got a lever right here to tilt the seat back. This is manual adjustment for your uh, seat adjustment. You got your elbow space right here. You can share with your uh, partner there, whoever. Right? Your park sensor. Uh, you can turn it off or on, so if you don't want to hear the beeping when you're backing up or approaching another vehicle. At a close distance, you can turn that off so it doesn't beep, but maybe wake your kids up in the back of you know, your dog or your cat. Right? And here you got your uh, select, this is select, select terrain, which that means uh, this vehicle has capabilities of uh, attacking any kind of, uh, well, almost any kind of terrain you can think of. Snow, sports, sand, mud. I think the Trailhawk editions have a rock feature added on here as well. So you can definitely run this in auto also here uh, they have some extra gear for your gear you got the SB port or sorry the SD card port you got another USB port right here auxiliary cord if you want to go old school in another lighter space right here these seats can actually move forward or back so if you got little you know smaller people they want to be closer to you, so they want to whisper in your ear, so they'll move themselves up forward like that, right? Because they're short and they can't reach that far, so you have that option, right? Short people are, are cool. Here you got your full-size spare tire. It is actually exactly the same tire as it is mounted on there right now. So that is nice, right? It's not going to take away from the safety on the road and the comfort ride and all those good things. Slide this back into place. Oh, also another cool feature I figured out about this. If you don't want this thing flapping around or whatever, what you do, you go like this. Tuck it behind like so, right? So, I don't know. Some people complain about that, so I showed it to them. They were very happy and they they're just really ecstatic. You got a button right here. Whatever you want to call it. 60-40 split in the rear. If I didn't mention that before. You know, your your beautiful regular controls for your windows, you know, they I think they look a lot nicer than any other vehicle, personally. But that's my preference. Beautiful stitching on the doors. This is leather wrapped. We've got a little bit of a, you know, wood grain, I guess, if you want to call it that. I can, I call it that, but you can call it whatever you want to call it, right? And here's the driver's side. Uh, so you have little two capabilities. On this side right here, you can answer calls, make calls, uh, talk to the, you know, whatever app you're connected to, you know, Surrey. You know how it is nowadays, right? And you can connect to all your good friends. And you can call them. Here's your adjust the tilt. On this side, you have your uh, cruise control settings. Right? Beautiful screen, 8.4 inch. You have a button right here for to pop the trunk, which is a beautiful feature. When your wife is standing there in the rain bringing all the groceries, you know, you can just pop this button and uh, she's, she's happy right away. She gets in the car and she gives you a little kiss. You do have your uh, sunglass compartment right here. If you get the roof open, uh, you would, uh, I guess you can do it two ways. You can open up the, the, the cover first and then open the glass, or you 
can, by all means, push this once and it'll all open the cover and the actual sunroof simultaneously. So it's a, it's a one touch type of uh, commitment, like this, boom, it goes in two stages, stage one, it'll stop halfway and then the glass will open, boom, there you go, how beautiful is that? And you got a little bug screen. This is the proximity key fob. You can keep this key fob in your pocket and all you gotta do is either put your hand around the driver or passenger side front door handles and the Cherokee will sense the fob is near and that will unlock the doors for you. This has an unlock button, a lock button and a panic button. Press this button twice, that will open up the power lift gate and this does have remote start. All you gotta do is press this button twice, the doors are locked and the Cherokee will start right up. Boom, just like that it starts up. So. Then all you gotta do is unlock the chair key, either using the key fob or the door handles, and put this key fob somewhere. You put it down below here in the two cup holders, or one of the two. Put your foot on the brake down below. Go over to the side here and press the push button, start button, and that'll get you past the remote start system. The tachometer, the speedometer, the fuel gauge, and the temperature gauge looks very good. Great design, and this only has 18,360 kilometers on it. That is not very much at all, so definitely come book a test drive today. And using buttons on the left side of the steering wheel right here, we can go through the driver information center. And the first thing you'll see is that there's a digital speedometer, which you can change to miles per hour if you're going to the States. You have your vehicle info area tiles. You have tire pressures for all four tires. You have your coolant temperature, transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil life, battery voltage, and back to your tire pressures. You have your fuel economy area, let you know your fuel range on your tank of fuel and your average liters per 100 kilometers. Hold the OK button here and you can easily reset that. You have trick computers here, tells you how far you've driven, your average fuel economy and the time been driving for. Hold the OK button, you can reset one or both of those. Audio center, lets you know what's playing on your media. Message center in case the Jeep Cherokee wants to tell you something. Screen set up here so you can customize the screen, make it more of your own. There's an outside thermometer a clock, some blank spaces, go on the screen set up here and have it say what you want to say in those areas. And back to the digital speedometer. And if you open up any door on the Jeep Cherokee, we'll let you know which door on the Jeep is opened. Nice big Jeep badge in the middle here with of course a horn. It's a very loud horn. And behind the steering wheel, there's steering wheel mounted audio controls that allows you to adjust your volume, go through your presets and so much more and directional air vents in the middle here, which you can close and open, close and open, you can easily adjust those. This has an auto dimming rear view mirror, fold down sun visors here with convenience mirrors, with convenience lights so you and your passenger can look at yourselves whenever you want. And there's tons of visibility out the front window. And this is the touchscreen and Uconnect system. It has AM, FM radio and Sirius XM. It tells you a song and the artist in the middle of the screen. You have an audio area here. You can adjust the audio, balance, fade, equalizer, speed adjusted volume, surround sound mode, auxiliary volume offset, presets up above. Hold one of these boxes with your finger. You can easily set a preset. You can direct tune it to a specific radio station that you want to listen to media button here so if you have something plugged into any of the USB ports, a CD in the CD player, a Bluetooth device connected or something plugged in to the SD card port down below or those areas right, go here and you can listen to music through any of those areas. This does have heated seats up front, this has a heated steering wheel and there's a mirror dimmer right here. You connect that showing you all the cool stuff that you have. Adjust your climate control right on the touch screen here, that's right. It does have dual climate control with the auto feature which allows the Jeep to adjust the climate control for you. Easily adjust where you want the air to go. You can sync and unsync the temperatures. Set the temperature with just your finger. Turn on your rear window defroster and more. Turn the screen off if you don't want to look at it. Touch it with your finger. It comes back on. Bluetooth area here. You can pair more than one device. Everything you do on your phone make a call. You do hands free on touchscreen screen Uconnect system here. View recent calls. View your phone book and so much more. And there's great sound quality through the speakers. 
Got some Drake. Sounds pretty good, hey? Oh, uh, yeah. I can see myself driving this Cherokee and listen to all my favorite tunes, which is obviously on 107.1 FM. Turn it down just like this. Of course, you can turn off the trash control and more. There's still, this still has the plastic protectant on the screen. It's never been taken off and this vehicle is two years old. So you can be the first and only person to take off this film. So what I haven't mentioned earlier, that this is a North edition and you know what this means. This, this bad boy will definitely get through the North side of Edmonton. No problem. If you put the Cherokee into reverse, a backup camera appears on the touchscreen Uconnect system, giving you a great view of what's behind you. And if I turn the wheel, it'll guide you to where you're going to be backing up. And that also shows up the rear park sense parking sensors on the screen here. So as you're reversing, I'll show you how close you're getting to an object. And you'll also hear audible beeps. Here under the hood, we have the beautiful multi air 2.4 liter Tiger Shark inline four engine. Puts out about 160 horse, I believe. Plenty to get around, save yourself gas. You can always have the option to go to a six cylinder model, but that's all up to you. And that's what it is. Nice leather padding in the middle here for arms to rest on, right? There's an upper storage compartment right here and down below here. There is a CD player, USB port. And a 12 volt DC power outlet, lots of space in there for many different things. And there's a spot for some pens right there too. And this Jeep Cherokee does have blind spot radar. So built into the mirrors, there are little triangles right here. So if you try to change lanes and there's someone in your blind spot, that triangle will light up and warn you that someone is in your blind spot. And it's probably best for you not to change lanes while that vehicle is there. It's a handy and fantastic feature to have and the mirrors also have built-in LED turn signal lights and lighting up the road in front of you are projector style headlamps this does have two fog lamps on the front bumper LED running lights of course you have the turn signals there the unique seven slot grill looking excellent I love the aggressive styling of this vehicle and this Jeep Cherokee has roof racks built on top of it so if you want to haul things on top of this Jeep Cherokee you can easily do so in case it doesn't fit inside the interior and of course that's where you put gasoline inside this Jeep Cherokee. I think Jeep's done a marvelous job with this one. As they say a Jeep is a Jeep is a Jeep. Come check us out at Crosstown you can come talk to me you can talk to my associates we're all here to help. This is my buddy Dave and we're signing out. Yeah peace. Peace.